when there is blockage acutely of a blood vessel that is supplying the brain, that brain tissue stops functioning properly and that is why the patient develops symptoms. At that point in time, the brain cells are not actually dead. They slowly start dying. And if we can open up the blood vessel fast and restore blood flow, then essentially we can reduce the amount of damage to the brain and help the patient recover faster. And essentially what we were able to show is that in a, in a subgroup of patients within this trial, there was significant improvement in outcome in patients who got this neuroprotective agent. We've got a really important signal here and we're going to have to do another study, we think, to really, to really nail it down. But I think we've made a breakthrough here in terms of understanding that it's possible not just to restore the blood flow, but also to manipulate all the biochemical processes which occur when blood flow has been, have been missing for a period of time. In Escape, we had 25 sites around the world, and, and then uh, in this trial it was bigger, 48 sites, and we had uh, sites in Canada, in the United States, Europe, South Korea, and then Australia. So AHS is a big part of it. We have, you know, embed, we're embedded within the university and all the clinical research structures uh, in the university. The, the institutes Hodgkiss and O'Brien and stuff. And, and then as a result of some of the research we've been doing, it's become global. So, so it really is, um, really is an amazing group. We are very fortunate that we have a strong, motivated team um, that is willing to um, push it forward and work together.